This is a Minecraft video about Electroborus Wizardry and more specifically the school of magic that is known as sorcery. So yeah, pretty much anything that doesn't fit into the elemental criteria. Sorcery, like conjure block. I can conjure invisible blocks. This spell is uh, not as cool as I personally would have liked, but it is useful. Obviously, if you can climb air with it. Yeah, sure. Anyway, Muffo. I believe this spell uh, pretty much makes it so that they can't use spells, right? Oh yeah, I'm using all the apprentice ones. I'm not even using... Okay, I'll use the novice in a second. First though, where is... Wait. Oh, Movo is a novice one. Okay. So, novice. Uh, silence is any sounds made by the caster for 30 seconds when muffled mobs can only detect you when looking towards you. Ah, oh, so a stealth spell. Well, that is actually very straightforward. Light, this is one of the coolest spells because I love how the light actually does look. Hello there. But yeah, light looks absolutely awesome. It really, really does. Only issue with it is the fact that it does disappear after a certain amount of time. Telekinesis? Oh, uh, this is only specifically for items. And its range is not as good as I personally would have liked. But hey, it works. Conjure sword, as you can guess, a sword. The hero of its stats. Uh, Force Arrow? Oh, wait, this is not Magic Missile. Wow, Force Arrow does 11 damage? I'm actually quite impressed by this magic. And obviously, if I can spam it, it's any quick. I guess something that I really haven't thought about mentioning, but I should mention it, is that every one they normally use, or at least in most videos, they have the upgrades for the cooldowns and spells. And honestly, that's the only update that does matter. This one just gives more slots. But yeah, the cooldown one makes it so that spells are cast faster than they usually are. So if you actually use the spells yourselves, they will be slightly slower. That's pretty much in every single one of these videos, and I will probably forget to mention it, but anyhow. Uh, okay, this is 13 damage, alright, fair enough. I don't know how much a normal bow actually does, so I suppose this is something. What else do we have? Uh, imbue weapon? I mean, this one is... Oh, imbuement 4. So, fun fact, Imbue Weapon does work with the Spectral Weapons. However, obviously enough, it is also going to work with the Vanilla ones. And yeah, it does do more damage. Okay. Well, I'm glad I actually managed to show this one real quick. And I've showed all the other ones. Very nice. There is more Sorcerer spells than I believe there are any other type. There is any other type. Trying to speedrun this. Now, I believe all of these are Apprentice. No Advanced. Okay. Let's see what is next. Blink. Oh, teleportation. Well, that is actually quite amazing. I do love teleportation spells. The range doesn't seem to be that bad. I can teleport into nothing. I have to be pressing a block in order to teleport. Okay, in that case... Alright, the range is not that good. It can get me to that tower. But yeah, honestly, quite the amazing spell in personal opinion. I actually have never used that one in particular. I'm going to assume that that one just locks a chest. It does take a long time to cast, shockingly enough. Alright, lock, what do you do? Uh, magically locks the target container if it has any free lock slots. Take this as it is, because I, uh, it is what it is. Anyhow, uh, what else do we have? Conjure pickaxe, that one is super straightforward. Uh, it is, oh wow, it's barely useful. Right, summon mimic. This one is actually very cool. Even though it takes a long amount of time to spawn, and I also should be playing on a higher difficulty. Sadly enough, in peaceful, your summons just don't function. Also, very sad that for some reason I can never figure out why my mobs are just not attacking. I just I can't figure it out. It really pisses me off. Oh, you're attacking each other because they punched one. I'm just confused how my summons work. But yeah, time manipulation. Oh, darkness. Wow, this is just apprentice level magic. I mean. I would say so, just being able to switch from nighttime to daytime. It is pretty apprentice level magic. Yeah, but anyhow, uh, what else was I doing? Alright, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I cannot mesmerize by that. Uh, what was I doing? Magic shield. Oh, so I create a literal magic shield. Well, I guess let's test it out real quickly. I, I don't wanna, but I will. Sure, just to see how it works. Magic Shield 3. Oh, okay, so it gives me an enchant. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And if I hold it, I assume the effect stays on me. Yeah, it does stay on me. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so. Oh, wait! 
So the longer I hold it, the more seconds I get for it. So it's a charging. Magic shield protects its caster. That is so straightforward. I do appreciate you being honest. Alright, Dark of Spring. Let's see what you're gonna do. This is a mistake what I'm about to do. But sure, I'll test just this one. Come on, Dark Orf of Orf of Spring. Okay. Well, I assume it just gives me something like resistance because uh, obviously if I'm still taking damage. Normally Oh, it says it right there how many oh wait, it says how many Okay, so that's how many armor bars it gives you. Gotcha. Oh no, it isn't. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, it is interesting, it is interesting. What else do I have? Pocket work bench. This is as straightforward as it can get. Pacifism? Another one that I suppose I must read. Pacifism does. Slow them all. Wait, what? I gained temporary warp. Why? I don't know. Pacifism is interesting and actually these are all the spells I have on me. Very, very, very peculiar. I assume perhaps because from what I'm seeing from the icon, pacifism in all likelihood it just makes it so that they freeze or that they can't attack me after they try to hit me. I'm going to assume it's something of that sort. Also it seems like I have no more sorcery. Also, it seems like there is no sorcery magic from Mousy's mobs add-on. Uh, there are from other add-ons. There's two specific add-ons that have a lot of magic. Ancient magic and another one, but I'm not gonna go over them right now. I have whole videos just for those specifically. Right now, though. Uh, let's go with transformation. Whatever this one might be. Oh, this is from the Twilight Forest. It transforms normal mobs into the Twilight Forest versions. Yeah, obviously if I've used it, and yeah, there we go, I can transform it from its normal version to this. Well, this is the same sheep I actually used in the video. Very impressive that you've actually lived. I, I guess I'll give you the horns, just so they can remember you're the same one, in case you somehow live. Containment? I guess I should hit something with it. It is some sort of... Okay. Obviously, if it is some sort of effect, can't tell what it does, so I have to read it. Have to advance magic a short distance of its current position. Really? It contains the target within a short distance within its current position for 20 seconds. I suppose that can be useful, but very, very rarely. And also agility. Okay, jump boost and speed. That is. Obviously, as well as it was gonna get. And clearly, if I used multiple times, it doesn't make it any better. Ah, Dark of Spring. Anyhow. Uh, the Nox spell. I mean, I'm pretty positive you can guess what this one does. It pretty much negates the Lock spell. I don't even think I need to read it, but I will just so. Magically opens a lock on the targeted container. Yeah. Uh, divination. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay, nothing's happening. Guess another one I need to read. Okay, where is Divination? There we go. Guides the caster to nearby ores and resources. Potency will increase the chance of finding more valuable ores. The type of spell that I'm never gonna use in the entirety of my life because I actually hate doing mining in Minecraft. I get. I know, I know, I know, I know what I said. You remember the location? Oh, that's so cool. So, clairvoyance spell. I mark something. Right? Yeah. I mark something, then I cast a spell, and it gives me the path to it. Oh, I love the clairvoyance spell. Oh, and the last one also is here. This is neat. I do love this spell. Uh, Twilight Orb. Yep, yeah, just gonna find the thing from the witch. Death Page, another one from the Twilight Forest. It does do a little tiny bit of damage. What did you say to me? How dare you say that to me? Wait, what are you doing? Why are you attacking me while, while I am in creative? Mobs from this from the abyss mod are terrifying. If you don't know, I got one shotted by one of them in creative. Uh, let's just learn more magic because I'm kind of scared. Or I just get more magic. Yes. Oh, let me guess. I need to. Yeah. Uh, it's not the best armor set, but this something. I can definitely imagine better. Oh, so this is just the advanced version of the Conjure Block spell. Wait, does it go as far as I want? No, it doesn't. It does have a limit. 
And it seems like I can't recast it. Kinda disappointing that I can't recast it if you ask me. But okay. And I can do it in midair. Right, so I have to be standing on a block. Uh, advanced return. I think this one's probably just gonna teleport into my bed, but I will read it. Teleports the magician back to his bed. Yeah, well that was that one was kinda straightforward just from the icon. Photosynthesis? Oh, let me guess, it heals my hunger whenever there's light. I'm 100% certain, but might as well read it once again. Well, that says nothing, so I'm going to go with that, or it probably refills my mana. One of the two, or maybe both. Decoy? Summons a clone of me. Very oh! Oh, my clone does the same thing as me! Oh, oh wow, this is an interesting world, isn't it? Whoa. Wait, do they literally do everything I do? They're moving on them themselves. Am I summoning too many versions of myself? I don't know. Magic is fun. Anyhow, uh, what was I doing? Right, 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 right. I was demonstrating this video with magic and stuff and now I'm invisible. Oh wow, these guys go invisible as well. Oh, that is neat about them. Alright, time travel? What? What time travel? Uh, recall tree? Wow, time travel? Is it just gonna... Am I back to the same location? What happened? Okay, do this. Now I'm here. Very interesting and very confusing, just like time travel. And you know what? This will be the one spell that I will not explain, because time travel should never be understood. Vex Swarm. Oh, look at that. The Vex are actually fighting. That is that... Oh, they do 14 damage? Well, I'm impressed. The Vex are actually quite impressive. Alright, uh, Conjure Armor. So I hit all of them. Alright, all of these are all right, all of these are advanced. There's a whole specific chest just about the master sorcery. Alright, uh greater telekinesis. Ooh, let me assume. Oh, I can't pick up blocks. Or rather I can't pick up items. But if I aim it, yep. Yeah, very very fun spell. Right? Oh okay, wait, I placed it on the ground. Okay, I can't show it in F5, but I'm obviously holding I'm not holding the block. Oh I am holding. Okay, yeah. Kind of junky, but hey, it has a very cool icon and I, I guess it could be useful. Anyhow, I, I'm pretty positive I actually removed that spell, but whatever. Warp? You must remember the location of a waystone first. Oh, so this specifically has spell about waystones. I gotcha. Well, that is actually super obvious what that one does. If you install the waystone mod, you can use it in order to go to a waystone. Uh, transportation. You must remember the location of stone circle first. Transports the caster to their remembered stone circle. To use this spell, make a circle of stones uh, transportation, then right click with the wand. I have not prepared that and I'm not even certain how that's supposed to look, but I think I understand it at the very least. Fox teleportation. Alright, another one I'm supposed to read. A lot of sorcery spells clearly not need to be read. Take a teleportation scroll in the offhand and cast this spell with the main hand. Oh, I gotcha. There it is. Teleportation scrolls are actually quite amazing. Uh, you, if you have them, you don't really need waystones. But yeah, you right click location, then you can use the scroll. There you go, you're teleported back. Or you can use focus teleportation instead and actually just use the scroll once in your life. Or maybe, wait, it's set in the offhand, right? So I hold the scroll like this. Oh. Oh, I, I still have nausea. But yeah, there we go. It doesn't... Wow! Surface teleport. So, yeah, this definite... Okay, clearing of teleportation is very nause nauseating. Yeah, it is. And surface teleport is one of the best things that has been added as well. For mining. But then again, the other versions are better. But hey... That's still good to have. Levitation. I mean, that is very, very straightforward what it does, doesn't it? Yeah, just levitation. Why am I doing this? Summon an ally. Ali. Alright, what what does it do? I'm gonna go over that one last. No, oh wow, well, that is the last one. Okay. Summon Ali. Allow the selected player to teleport to your ground waystones. So obviously enough, this is for using waystones. Wait, I'm pretty positive there was another one for using waystones though, right? Wait, what's the difference then? What is the difference between warp and that one? They do the same thing. Warps you to your last remembered. Oh wow, so this is just a worse version. Okay, 
Okay, let's see whether I can rush through this. Face step. Wait, can I face through blocks with this one? I cannot. But it is just teleportation. I wanna read it because there's so many teleportation spells that I need to know the difference between each one of them. Okay, face step. Quickly, I'm trying to rush this, obviously. Teleport the caster a short distance in front of them, including through walls. Well, that is a lie, isn't it? Or maybe it isn't. Wow. Didn't you say including through walls? Maybe it means another type of walls. Arcane lock, great, another one. I'm, I'm gonna need to read every single one of these. I chose such a bad time to record this one because I knew I was gonna have to read so many of them. Alright, so yeah, there we go. I know this spell. It's actually super cool. I love it. It is a true way to actually walk your chests. And you yourself can still open them. Interesting. Alright, I do love arcane lock. I didn't know it existed, but I do love it. Don't they know it. Alright, force, orb of force. Oh, it does damage to multiple mobs. I was about to say, there's spells that are of the war tiers that do more. Okay, so this is advanced and better because it does not pack and it does do damage to multiple mobs. Surface teleport? I, I, I swear I actually used that one already. What's happening? Uh, Mirage. Oh, Mirage magic. Cool, I've seen... No way, I've seen things from other mod packs actually do this. It makes me completely invisible and creates clones of me. That's actually super cool. I love that fact. Guardian Beam. I mean, you know what does the Guardian... Guardian? Yeah, Guardian Beam does. You do know what. Right now, Vanishing Box. Oh, it's, it opens the Ender Chest. That's super straightforward. Petrify. Let me guess. Petrify. It turns the mob into a statue. Oh, and you can break it. How very nice of the spell. Wait, does it permanently? It actually turns them into a literal statue. <gasps> I wanna test it out, I wanna test it out. First on the Harbinger of Doom. If it doesn't work against him, it will not work. But first... It does work against you! Oh, it might work against him! I might get my revenge. Yeah, Harbinger of Doom, I get it. You're scary. Woohoo, you're scary. Harbinger. Ha! Ah, it works! Oh, I wanna test it against him. I'm gonna do it. I will have to do it. I don't even know whether this is coming out in the order it is, but I might get my revenge against him. Uh, I believe it's the Gate Guardian. Yeah, do you realize I simply could switch your game mode? He actually can. Uh, this, If you have not watched the video, he can. This thing can switch my game mode. And it did do it in a video. Better Ha 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 ha. What so? Uh, excuse me. What were you saying? Uh, I'm just curious. What were you saying about the game mode being switched? Ah, revenge is so sweet. Revenge is truly sweet. I love that spell. Clearly enough, it works against literal gods that can switch your game mode. So, amazing spell. Uh, right, right, right. I wanted to do... What else did I want to do? I wanted to do... Yeah, I wanted to do the two master spells from the Twilight Forest. Harbinger of Doom. Obviously enough, it takes its damage. And it's raining and it's sad and uh, hilarious. Uh, pocket Tinkerer, this is the crafting table. These are the two master spells from the sorcery side of Electro Bob's Wizardry. Not truly impressive. What? The petrification is not forever? Wait, what did he say? What did he say in chat? Aha, uh -huh, I thought I gave you an assignment eons ago. Did it ever occur to you that it was permanent? What? Ah, uh, but I... No. But this guy is still in it. Are these creatures just more powerful? Well, that, that was terrifying. Uh, how did that thing... You know what? Okay. The, uh, petrification is not even a master level magic, so... It's no big deal that it was able to escape it. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you do nothing and now you're stone again. Well, it might not be able... It, it's not enough to defeat him. But clearly enough, it's enough to... At least slow him down. Anyhow, what spells have I not used? I'm just terrified that that thing is still alive. Magic offense. Uh, vulnerability 3. Magic focus 2. Let me guess. Magic offense increases my spell damage. Actually, I can test out that super easily. Rain of arrows. Let's do it right here. Okay, missed completely again. Okay, clearly enough it needs to be here. 14, 15 damage. Wow. That is actually quite impressive. Now, if I do magic offense, then I do rain of arrows. Okay, so it does the same. Okay, well, what do you do magic offense? I guess let's read it. I didn't want to read anymore to strike them even harder. 
Oh, it says that, so I am going to assume it does exactly what it says. It just boosts my powers. Maybe it actually boosts my physical abilities. You know what? Sure. Let's test it out. That's actually super easy to check out. No. No, it does not. Alright, well, that was something, wasn't it? And swallow time? Cool, is it actually swallowed? Whoa, it actually works! Okay, that is definitely a master sorcery level spell. I will give it that, it is truly amazing. Uh, how do you break? Doesn't matter. Let's just go to the next. And I guess the last greatest speed time. Oh, that's also fun. Cool. Last, uh, how many is this actually? Eight master level spells. Black hole. And I'm pretty positive you can assume what this one is gonna do. Uh, so let's just summon the shadow beasts because they're fun enemies, right? I suppose so. Yeah, uh, this hole, this black hole literally just does that. It sucks enemies in and does damage. Scale bless. Okay, gives me uh, strength resistance and fire resistance. That is quite cool. I don't know whether it's master level, but it's good. Mass warp. It looked cool for a moment. Uh, what do you do, Mass Warp? I guess I have to read it again. Mass Warp does. Warps you and nearby players to your last remembered waystone. Okay. Very, very cool. I love that there's so much um, connection with other players when it comes to spells. There are spells that are literally worthless if you're playing by yourself. Which is sad, because I am. But I do love that there are different spells. Oh, uh, okay, so Tribal Bless. Okay, this is obviously enough from the Hexit mod spells. That pretty much give you the abilities of the hexical armors. Okay, I actually do love the idea for these spells. Thief Bless. And you can stack them on top of each other. So if you have all three of these blesses, obviously enough, yeah, you can just do this. Awesome. Speed Time, Shockwave, Summon Iron Golem. This is a sorcery master level spell. Summon Iron Golem is the same class as controlling time and space. I know you're a good pet, but they are definitely much better summons than you. Thankfully, they're also master magic, but anyhow. Black hole? Uh, it does not seem to influence the statues. Very good, very good. But I suppose speed time? Whoa. Oh, I mean... Yeah, would you look at that? It's honestly quite fun. Particle effects? I heard something from my headphones, I believe. Yeah, just messing around with time and space. I love magic. I do. I love electro bombs. Just a drift. Uh, sadly enough, I believe that's about it. There is only what else? There is the shockwave, and I guess that's it. No more spells. All right, shockwave. I hope you do incredible. Okay, it doesn't do as much as I thought, but it seems like it's something that would do damage to a lot of creatures. But anyhow, for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. And doing stuff like comedy and subscribing is definitely appreciated. But for now, uh, bye! Oh, oh wow, they're flying everywhere. Right? Huh.